G'day, in this video we'll cover how to restrain your kayak on top of your four wheel drive or SUV or any car for that matter. And as you can see I've loaded the uh, kayak on top of the SUV already. Uh, one person operation, if you want to see how I did that, uh, the link's in the description to my video on that. Uh, so today we're going to restrain it just by using the two Hobie cam buckle pull down straps. I uh, prefer these um, to use for this kayak. The kayak itself is uh, just over four meters long and weighs, you know, as it is about 31 kilos. So it's not a it's not a heavy load to tie down, uh, and that's why I prefer using the uh, the cam buckle straps as opposed to a ratchet strap. With a ratchet strap, uh, there's an inclination there of, of really adjusting it way too tight, and you can over a period of time uh, place a lot of stress and strain on the kayak when you do that. So the, the pull down cam buckles uh, allow you to provide the adequate uh, tension required to restrain it onto the um, roof rack itself. So the cam buckle works by threading and then pulling down. So quite simple to use. We'll go ahead and use it today. Alright, so the first part of restraining the kayak is initially setting that up. So you want to make sure that the kayak's sitting uh, centrally to the vehicle and also that um, it's naturally sitting in a settled position. Therefore, it's not, it's not leaning too far forward or new, too far rear. So you want it sitting, you know, in a natural, safe position. Okay, the other thing you want to be aware of too, because this is quite a, a long kayak, it does project um, from the rear um, of the vehicle itself. So you want to check that your, your state laws allow you to do that. So this, the state that I'm in at the moment, we're allowed uh, 1.2 uh, rear, 1.2 meter rear projection before we need to place a safety flag on it. Um, so I've, I've placed a safety flag on, on this one anyway, um, even though it does, it is within the 1.2, uh, just to be, just to give other road users, you know, an identification that there is um, a projection there. It's better to be safe than sorry. Um, so you know, if you're going to, if you do need to apply um, a safety flag, make sure it's the right. Um, once again, check your. Um, your, your regulations within your state or territory and make sure that there are, the, the safety flag is um, meeting the um, dimensions required. Alright, so we'll go on with now is actually um, placing the restraints onto the kayak. Um, we'll, we'll start loading from the passenger side and that will also be the tie down point as well. It's quite important to do that on the passenger side. I find that that's the furthest that you're going to be away from the side of the road and that way if you do need to um, check your load or, or um, do any restraints whilst you're out on the highway you're doing it on you know the safe side of the vehicle okay if you're in a, a lot of wind as well um, you find that that strap's not going to go all the way over the uh, side of the vehicle. So what I tend to do is just to tuck it into the um, middle of the kayak itself. There's a little um, projection in there where the um, the paddle sits, the foot pedal. So you just tuck it in there, then go around the other side and pull it through because the, the, lot, the strap is quite light and it doesn't take much wind to interfere with your throw. Also, when you're throwing it over the side of the vehicle, uh, make sure that there's nothing over the other side that you, you might hit. Um, just let you, if you're out there with, the, with your buddy or a mate, just let them know that you are chucking it over there so it doesn't whack him in the in the melon. All right, so we'll move around the other side and show you how you how to um, hook it up the other side and then pass it back on to the the safe side of the vehicle. All right, so what we're going to do now is just tuck that strap in uh, under the roof rack uh, closest to the kayak, and then. Throw, throw it over, we'll pass it over to the other side. Okay, 
Okay, just a little tip with uh, the load restraint. You can see how these straps here are nice and flat across the hull, which is fine. But what that tends to do is, especially when you're at speed on the highway, it can produce a really irritating hum. Uh, so the best way to overcome that is just to put one twist in the strap, like that, just one. And what that tends to do is alleviate that noise. Uh, so just a little tip for you, just one twist is fine. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration on tying down using the cam buckle. So I'm just going to once again place it next to the roof rack closest to the kayak. Thread it through the cam buckle and then pull down. Uh, but then I'll place a half hitch on the actual near the cam buckle itself and then tie off the remaining um, loose loose end uh, on a clove hitch just so it doesn't flap around and um, cause noise and, and more importantly uh, damage the vehicle.